This is a film to show you how to draw a generic kitchen cabinet in 3D. Here I'm using TurboCAD Professional 18.1 and uh, as with the other training films I've made I'm not going for um, detailed accuracy. We're not going to deal in, we're not going to be dealing with any joints here or fixings. This is just going to be made out of slabs so it's going to look right but hopefully if you were actually going to draw it to produce it yeah, uh, you would do it rather different. Uh, you'd do it slightly differently because you'd have to accommodate for how the shelves were going to be fixed and that sort of thing. Uh, we're not going to bother about that here. So I'm going to start with the base. So I'm going to click anywhere, um, draw a base. Now I'm going to draw a cabinet that is uh, 400 millimeters wide. So I'm going to go tab into my width box at the bottom here and type in 400. Tab in the length which for us means the depth. I'm going to make that uh, 450. The height, we're going to have the thickness of the wood uh, to make this cabinet as 20 mil. There it is. So here's the front, this is the depth. Nope, the other way around. There's the front, that's the depth. So first thing is we're going to, so there's our base, we're going to put a side on, so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts that I've explained in previous training, V, snap to that, and now our width is going to be the thickness of the wood, which is 20, the length is the depth, which is the same, 450, and the height of the cabinet, well we're going to make a, a, a regular height cabinet, 720 mil. Um, here I've already done the calculations to work out the thickness of the base and to allow for some short 50mm uh, legs. So this will come out at 620, you'll just have to trust me on that. So there's the side. Uh, we want another one of these sides over the other side here, so I'll select it. Here's my copying tools, I'm going to do a mirror copy. The copying tool is explained in another film. I'm going to do M snap for midpoint here, M for midpoint here, and there's the other side. This base is going to, we're going to use the base here as the basis of our shelves that are going up. So I'm going to uh, right click and go uh, make a copy. I'm going to select that base. And in the delta keys, the delta keys are the keys that will move something. So if I do delta Z, it will move that up in the Z plane and I'm going to raise it 200, hit return, and I've got a shelf 200 there. I'm going to right click, try and remember, sometimes I forget this, to turn off make a copy. Now obviously this shelf is too big, it's going into here, so I need to make it uh, narrower. So on this X plane, it's going to be narrower by 20 this side and 20 that side. So size here, size X, it's 400, so I've got to knock off 40 off that, so it's going to be 360. Now, also, I want to uh, allow for the door at the front here, so I want this rebated in at the front. I also want it rebated in a little bit at the back, say, for allow for a 3mm backing board. So I'm selecting, I'm going to pick up the origin with a D and snap it to the back of there, doesn't matter where, I'll do M. So this Y here, the Y size, uh, position, where is it, size Y, 450, right, well I've got to take off 20 there uh, to allow for the thickness of the door. So that would be 430. Oh, hang on, what I do? Oh, look, I forgot there's a naught there I shouldn't have done. Uh, 430, it's 4300, so that's okay. Just take that out. There we are, we're okay now. And then I'm going to move that uh, origin again up the front here. And this time I'm going to take off just 3 mil off the Y here, size Y. So instead of 430, I'll make that 427. Uh, okay, deselect. So if I turn it around here, you can see I've got, the, I've got a 20 mil here for the door. And just a little rebate at the back here to allow for a backing board. Right, so some more. So that's the right size for the shelf. So let's have some more. So I'll click on, I'll select the shelf. 
I want linear copies this time. I want the copies going up here. So I have to put the information for the copies down the bottom here. So I'm going to go X or Y. Well, I don't want it to move either to the left or to the right or backwards or forwards. I only want it copied up. So I'm going to do a tab naught, tab naught. Whoops, missed something there. Let's go back there. Tab, uh, I put naught in there, naught in there. And the Z step is the only one I want to change. I want them going up rather than down. If I want them going down, it'd be a minus figure. I'm going up, so it's going to be a plus figure, and I'll say 100. Okay, and then I'll stand, I'll say how many. It's not how many extras, this is how many sets you want to end up with. Uh, so let's say five. I think that five is probably going to be too many, but anyway, let's say five so you can show, I can show you what goes on. Here we go, there's five, and I was right, that one's not much good to anybody at the top here, so I can click onto that and delete it. There's my shelves. So, top here. I'm going to snap with a V snap here, a V snap there. Take that up. I'll make this. Um, what shall I make this? I'll make this thicker than the other one. So I'll make this 30. So you see, I've, over here it already says 40 and 40, 450. Sorry, 400 and 450 because I've snapped to those. So there, I can just go through with the height, and I can make it um, 30. Make it a bit thicker than the base. Now again, I want to change that slightly because I want a slight overhang, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to take the origin, I'm going to pick it up with a D, put it at the back here with an M snap. And here, the Y size, Y is 450. Let's give it a uh, just a 20 mil overlap. Probably want to make it more really, but uh, 450, so if I make that 470, I've got a 20 mil overlap. And we probably want to give it a, a slight fillet edge, so I'll give it a uh, 20 fillet, 20 mil fillet edge. Yep, maybe that's too much. Let's take that down. I go back to 20, change that to 15. 15. That's a bit smaller. That looks more like it. Looks more like it. There's a finished flag, and that's done. Okay, so there's our basic cabinet. Then we've got to make the door. I'm going to draw the door over here simply because I can draw it over here easier, there won't be too many, so many lines to get confused with. So again, width. Well, now the width is uh, 400 minus the thickness of the two sides, so minus, uh, what would that be, minus 40, so 400 minus 40, uh, 360. The length is the depth of it, which is 20. And the height is again the height that we use for the sides, which was 620. There's a door. Now, to put a handle on it, chances are you'd go into something like the Google Warehouse, I would think, and pinch a handle, or you'd, go, or you'd have a handle in a, um, a symbols library or something. But for here, I'm just going to draw a quick one on the front here. So I'm going to put the, front, the handle on the front of this door. So I'm going to make the front of this door my work plane. That's the surface I'm going to work on. I'm going to, I'm right clicking my mouse here and going to my local menu to get a line. I'm going to do an M snap here and an M snap there, just as a guide. So I know this line is halfway between the top and the bottom. And then I'm just going to draw a handle and I'm just going to do this by eye. It doesn't really matter too much what it looks like. I'm going to draw a do that, make this, make the front my work plane, and I'm going to draw another cylinder here, centre it with C, centre, and then I'm going to give it a bit of a fillet here, start radius, let's make that a bit smaller I think, perhaps 12, click on here, yeah looks alright, and finish flag. There it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those two bits together. So I'm going to go to modify, modify 3D objects, 3D operations, add, click onto one bit, and then click onto the other bit. Then we should be done. I'm going to take out that line. No, I don't want to see that again. Take out that line. It was just a, uh, a construction geometry. There's my handle. Now if I click onto it, I'm highlighting the whole thing. And I want to move it in a little bit that way. So that will be on the X plane. So delta, delta X, I'm moving it 
to the left, so I've got to have a minus figure. If I move it minus, oh, I don't know, say 70, see what that looks like. Hit return. Yeah, that looks about right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to that as well. Uh, so I'm going to go to uh, modify, modify 3D objects, Boolean operations, 3D add, click on the handle, and click on the door. And they should be added now. And now when I click on that door, I should have everything. And I can move that just to test that the handle's going with it. Ah, it's not. Okay, undo move. Right, let's try and uh, get these things together again then. Let's try another way around. Modify, 3D objects, uh, 3D add. Let's go and learn it so I can select them easily. So I'm going to select that and then that. Select the first of the solid objects. I think I should be okay now. Yeah, don't know that time. Just missed it, just missed selecting it last time. Um, so now I'm going to put this in place. So I'm going to pick up the origin of it, snap the origin to where it's going to rotate for around, so it's going to be there. I'm going to pick that up, take that over there, and I'm going to snap it to that point. Okay, and while it's still highlighted, I'm going to open the door a little, like that. There you go. Let's have a look at it from the other direction. It's better. And um, if it's starting to look a little bit confusing, we can just look at it in uh, suppressing lines, which is that one. And I'll put the uh, work plane back where it, where it was on the base of the cabinet. And Alt-G will turn off the grid. Okay, so now we can see what we've got. So all we've got to do now is uh, make the legs. So if I look from beneath, from the bottom, there's the bottom. I'm going to do this slightly inaccurately, a little bit by eye. I'm going to draw a line from here. Um, now hang on, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to turn it around a little bit so that we can see what we've got. Then I'm going to draw a line, a diagonal line from here, V-snap there and V-snap there. Now in suppressing line mode, that line is going to stay there, but if I show you something, if I zoom in or move around, it disappears. Okay? So it can be used as a bit of construction geometry, but it'll go as soon as you move. So I'm going to do that again, so I'm going to do V and V. Now I'm going to pick up the cylinder, and I'm going to do an N. This is where I'm doing it a little bit by eye. Really, you'd probably want to specify exactly where that is. Um, and here so I can have this height at anything. You can see down at the bottom here where it says height and I know this needs to be 500 to get the cabinet at exactly the right height. Uh, sorry, not 500, 50. Well, what's happened there? Let's try this one again. Now, something went wrong there. There's a cylinder. Well, there it is. It is there. So, now, so I've done something wrong here, and I've got to try and work out what I've done wrong. Oh, there it is. Now, see what I've done? I've typed in 50, and what I should have done was typed in minus 50, because it's going down. So, what I'll do is I'll do Control Z, and take it away, that's it, and I'll start again. Needn't start again, you could just select it and change the properties, but for... Just for the sake of jumping through a hoop twice, I'll come here again, I'll do V and V. I'll get the cylinder. Again here, N for nearest graphic to get on that line. I come up to here. This time I'll tab through and go tab, 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 and this time do minus 50. And there's my leg. I'm now to I now need to do an array copy to put one in this corner, one in that corner, and one in that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it from the base, from the bottom. Here it is. I'm going to select it. Part. 
There it is, cylinder. Cylinder, let's look at it from the bottom. I'm going to do an array copy. It's a bit difficult to see where that's going to go. So what I would probably do is make a mark down there where I could snap to. So it's the same distance in from here and in from there. But just for this exercise, I won't bother making a mark. I'll just take, I'll just do it by eye. That's look, that's look good enough to me. And I click, uh, left click. There we go. And we've got our four legs. See, it. There they are. Let's look at it from this view. There's our cabinet with all the legs in 3D. Uh, and that's about it. It's as simple as that. I mean, without, you know, once you get a hang of it, you can draw a cabinet like that in five minutes easy, as long as you know the sizes. Okay, don't.